So you want to know how to beat the Headless Horseman. You came to the wrong video. I'm just kidding. Hey guys, what's going on? It's JMT and welcome to the Sleepy Hollow portion of this Guts and Black Powder massive update. This video is going to help you guys get the badge for Sleepy Hollow and exactly what it all entails, as well as for whom the bells toll, which is one of the badges associated with Sleepy Hollows as well. I'll have other videos coming out later today that will explain the other update portions to this Guts and Black Powder update. So let's get started. So I'm just going to get right into it. The way to access Sleepy be hollow is not actually by having it be randomly generated for the map selection. You cannot go to Sleepy Hollow by just choosing one of the maps at an end of a match or when you start a match. The only way to access Sleepy Hollows is to grab this purple bottle that could be found above where all of the runners spawn in this building in the first section of this Leipzig map or Leipzig. Again, I don't know how to pronounce that, so don't bully me. Once you grab that bottle, you just have to have one person escape the map, that's all. The person that grabbed the bottle does not have to escape the map. The person that grabbed the bottle does, is not the only one that has to survive. Once you grab that bottle, it is server activated. You just have to beat the map. So let's say if everyone dies and one person makes it out, it will automatically spawn you to the Sleepy Hollow map, which is really nice. And now the Sleepy Hollow map can be a little bit difficult. I'm not gonna lie. This is a hard map. You do need a solid team to beat this map, and I'm very thankful to everyone who participated this with me inside of the live stream. So when you do join Sleepy Hollow, the only regiment that you can choose is the new regiment called the U.S. Marine Corps. This does have the U.S. Marines for all of the original classes inside of Sleepy Hollow, so just select one. I highly suggest choosing one that does shoot a gun, like the Blunderbuss or the Musket class, because the only way to beat this map is to kill the Headless Horseman, and doing so using a gun. I highly doubt you're going to be able to melee this man, because if he comes up to you, your head's going to be gone. We'll get into that. So when you do start the match, it does give you some time to kind of, you know, waddle your way into the map and try to find a place to hide. If I were you, I would definitely go down to the docks area because there will be moments inside of the Sleepy Hollow map where zombies do spawn. The Headless Horseman will say, arise, and then all of these zombies will spawn from the graves at the spawn point of Sleepy Hollow. So I highly suggest you go down to the dock area and kind of camp there. The Headless Horseman does have three attack patterns. There's three ways for him to do damage to you. He can run you over with his horse, which will do 25% damage to your HP. I got a pizza here. Oh, damn. Ah! Oh, damn, that guy just got landed on. He can throw a pumpkin at you, which will do 50% damage to your HP. Wait, I hear him. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to call you a loser. I was just kidding. Oh my god. Or he can come up and just completely insta-kill you. He can slice your head off and it will instantly kill you. So make sure you stay away from this guy. And I'm pretty sure the pathfinding for this guy is like aimbot because people get ran over pretty easily. He runs directly at you. You can't just on-delay him like a bull. He doesn't throw his pumpkin until later during the round, so his first attack patterns are going to be either running you over or trying to cut your head off. So make sure you stay away from him. And pretty much all you gotta do to beat him is just to, to shoot him multiple times. I'm not for sure how much HP he exactly has. I'm not for sure how many shots it's going to take to kill him because there's so many weapons now inside of guts of black powder with this update bringing in two new guns but basically just unload into this man you gotta shoot to kill him and you will hear whether or not you hit him because he will say something he will do kind of like a grunt noise if you do hit him and for the sappers that are playing sleepy hollow if you do build barricades he does have a chance to either just run over the barricade and break it right away wait what do we have to do survive from him he's coming at me or he can jump over your barricades so barricades don't really do anything for the boss the barricades are really useful for when he does say arise and all of the zombies just come out and start attacking you because yes it is like the horde from catacombs so be prepared and the only zombies that do spawn are the shamblers so you don't have to worry about zapper zombies or explosive barrels or the igniter zombies no runners as well this is going to be heavily focused on teamwork kind of like every game mode inside of guts and black powder but sleepy hollow for sure is going to be heavily focused on teamwork because you do need a lot of people to shoot at this guy to kill him otherwise you are going to get overran by not just the headless horseman but all the zombies that spawn as well. Once you do kill this guy, you will unlock the badge for whom the bell tolls, and you will get a reward, which is the jack-o'-lantern. The jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> this can be equipped in the shop, which can be accessed by hitting the L button on your keyboard. It'll bring up the shop. You can go to the utility section of any class that you want, and you can equip the jack-o'-lantern, and this will be your third inventory slot in the game, and it basically just provides a light source for everyone. Overall, this is such a dope map for Guts and Black Powder, and I love the Headless Horseman boss. There's gonna be so many other videos coming out that got to describe everything that this update has dropped but i want to release the sleepy hollow one right away just to help you guys with this map let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the sleepy hollow map and the headless horseman boss as well and whether or not you guys have beaten this map already let me know but anyways guys that's gonna be it for me my name is jmt and i will see you in the next one peace out guys